Hello students! We are now in the third week of January and I know all of you are excited for the next month, which is the love month. Are you in a relationship? How can you define relation? Of course you are! You are in a relationship with God, with family members, with friends, and sometimes with special someone. But, do you know other relation aside from what being stated? In mathematics, a relation is any set of ordered pair, wherein there is a domain and there is a range. Let us go further. For today's lesson, it's all about Let us identify first our lesson's objectives. The first objective is to illustrate relation and function. And then, we're going to verify if a given relation is a function or not. And lastly, we have to determine the dependent and independent variables. This is the representation of relation using the ordered pair. A relation is set of ordered pairs. The set of all first coordinates is called domain and the second is called the range. For example, in this ordered pairs x and y, we have 3, 4, 5, 5, and 7, 6. The domains are 3, 5, and 7, while the range are 4, 5, and 6. And this one is the representation of relation using a table. It describes the behavior of the value of y as the value of x changes. Tables can be generated based on the graph. It can be presented vertically or horizontally. We can see that values of x are 3, 5, and 7, and the values of y in the table are 4, 5, and 6. Another representation of relation is using a mapping diagram. Mapping diagram shows the elements are paired. On this diagram, 3 are and 4 are paired, 5 and 5, 7 and 6. The representation of relation using a graph. It is a graphical representation of relation and it illustrates the relationship of the values of x and y. So here we have 3, 4, 5, 5, 7, 6. All functions have relations, but not all relations are functions. What is a function? A function is a special type of relation. It is a relation in which every element in the domain is mapped to exactly one element in the range. A set is a function if no distinct ordered pair have equal abscissas. It means if the ordered pairs has the same x or abscissas or domain, therefore, it is not a function. This one is an example of one-to-one -one correspondence. The relationship of students and their ID numbers. The first diagram has an element of the students Mary, John, and Kim. And the ID number of Mary is 001. John has an ID number of 025, while Kim has an ID number of 154. Each student has a unique ID number. Then, this one is a function.
Another is many to one correspondence. The relationship of students and the class rank. Mary is the top one of the class, while Susan, Kenneth, and Roger are top threes of the class. Then, we can see that we have independent X, Mary, Susan, Kenneth, and Rogers, while we have two Ys, 1 and 3. Then, it is also a function. But this one is different case. We have one to many correspondence, the relationship of a teacher to her poor students. Mrs. Johnson has four students. They are Mars, Kim, John, and Sonia. Mrs. Johnson is the X, while the students are the Ys. Then, the relation is not a function. Let us now verify if the given relation is a function or not. So here are the set of ordered pairs, 4, 0, 4, 1, and 4, 2. The abscissas for number 1 is 4, 4, and 4. The three ordered pairs has its common abscissa. Then, it is not a function. The number of points that intersect a vertical line is 1, which is 4. On number 2, we have 0, 1, 3, and 2 as abscissas. They are different with each other. Then, there's no number of points that intersect a number line. It is a function. For number 3, we have the domains negative 2, negative 1, 3, and 2. They are also different with each other. Then, we have zero number of points that intersect a vertical line, and it is a function. For number 4, we have negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. The same case as number 2 and number 3. Therefore, it is a function. For number 5, we have 2 3s and 2 2s. Then, the number of points that intersect a number line is 2. And it is not a function. Using a vertical line test, we can identify if the drop is a function or not. If a moving vertical line intersects the drop at only one point each time, then it is a function. Let us have the first example. The vertical line touches the graph at one point each time. Then, it is a function. On the second example, the vertical line touches the graph in many times at the same time. Then, it is not a function. On the third example, the vertical graph touches the vertical line in so many points, then, of course, it is not a function. Well, here, the horizontal line touches the vertical line in one point at each time, then, it is a function. Now, let us proceed with determining dependent and independent variables. Dependent variables depends on the independent variable, while the independent variable controls the dependent variable. In this given, we have y is equal to 2x. The independent variable is x and the dependent variable is y since y depends on the values of x.
if x is 0, then y is 0. If x is 1, then y is 2. If x is 3, then y is 6. Now, I'm going to help you to classify dependent and independent variables. The variables are time and salary, sales and profit, distance traveled, and fare. The first one is time and salary. The salary depends on the time you work. Then, the dependent variable is salary and the independent variable is time. For number two, sales and profit. I am giving you five seconds to think which is the dependent variable and which is the independent variable. Very good. The independent variable is the sales and the dependent variable is the profit. On number three, distance traveled and fair. Which is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable? Another five seconds to think. Time's up. Very good. The independent variable is the distance traveled, while the dependent variable is the fare. Now that you already know how to illustrate a relation and function, how to verify if a given relation is a function or not, and to determine dependent and independent variables. Now, you may now proceed to reading of the weekly home learning plan and follow the task given. Stay safe and God bless.